Hi, thanks for coming. This is the story of the miser finding the philosopher's stone. There's a lot of dense information in this story. This is part of the secret of hiding secrets in plain view. There was a miser that realized he had lost a penny. Muttering to himself, he went back to a place where he thought he'd lost it. And as he was looking for the penny, he was saying, well, if I find that penny, I'll be able to make two cents tomorrow with it, and the day after I'll make four, and the day after that I'll make eight. And his eyes got big, and he was looking at People laughed at him. As he was looking, he found the Philosopher's Stone. For you that don't know, the Philosopher's Stone is has another name, it's called the Wish Fulfilling Gem. That every, when you held it, and you wished, whatever you wished for appeared instantly. There are at least three secrets hidden in that little explanation. One of them is, that the Philosopher's Stone is the wish-fulfilling gem. The secret is, from the mind comes everything. That is the gem that's united with the emotions. Sometime, sometime later I'll tell you what some of the other secrets are. In the Bhagavad Gita it says that out of the many people that seek God to be in God's presence, only a very few make it. You have to have an attitude like the, the miser. You have to want realization. This is a good analogy for the guru-disciple relationship. Well, let's think about the story a little bit. That was a short story, wasn't it? Uh, the guru-disciple relationship depends on two people, right? The student, the disciple, and the guru. This story only has one person, the miser. So how could this be a story about the guru-disciple relationship? The guru was the miser who found the wish-fulfilling gem and went home forgetting his search for the penny. The penny is sometimes like the MacGuffin in a murder mystery. Necessary to, pro to pro make the story progress, but incidental, incidental to the result. The guru is is the opportunity to search for the penny. Having gone through this search himself as the miser, he came to the realization that the guru was not the answer. That was just a search for the penny. Finding the gem 
was the answer. Now the question that comes up is any particular guru necessary? And the answer is no. Just the opportunity to search for the self is the guru. For instance, uh, in America, Walt, Min Walt Whitman was realized. Who was his guru? It was nature itself, one of the faces of, of God. Tennyson became realized by saying his own name as a mantra. Tennyson, Tennyson. So, the guru is just the person who makes the opportunity to search for the penny. Any penny will do. Okay, this is all about the miser, disciple, and his search. When he finds the gem, one of the few that do, he will realize that is, he has a responsibility to provide the opportunity. He doesn't own the student, he is actually there at the student's request. Just to see the search. Thank you for listening.